And Joe Kim Noah continues to show his value to this club. And if the Bulls can hang around top three, top four in the Eastern Conference, in what group would you put him in terms of most valuable players in the NBA right now? Jeff, very, yeah, I, that's look, your I, guy right now. It is my guy. And I think he has to be considered in 20 to 24 games from now, like I said, because the way they're running their offense through him, the way he's operating uh, and making teammates better, giving them easy baskets, also attacking the rim like this, finishing. We know he defends. We know he runs the floor. He rebounds the basketball. There's nothing that he doesn't do for this Bulls team. And he therefore has to be considered considering what they've been doing as of, as of the last two months and where they'll probably continue to go going forward because Thibodeau doesn't allow them to slide in concentration. They may have a hiccup, like you said, here and there because it's just chalking up the NBA season. But they're going to they're gonna be contenders in the Eastern Conference as they are already. And I look forward to the playoff basketball you're going to get from them. Value is a, a little bit of a subjective thing. The, the MVP award, for instance, is not very clearly defined. So how valuable is Joe Kim Noah? I mean, he, he turned in from an energy player to a, a multi-skilled player. I mean, I think he always can handle the ball for a big he'd always could pass but his his best games was when he had effort and when he had energy now his best games aren't always determined that he's bringing effort and energy he's bringing skill to the game he's scoring uh passing and and um and, and ball handling so that's where the transformation is coming now he's in that conversation of you know top you know 10 players in the nba uh top two players in his position uh because uh, he's changed energy into skill and he's always have energy he will always have energy and effort